The couple and their kids, ages 7, 5, and 1, were headed to the San Juan River when a semi-truck hit them head-on. This happened on Highway 160 near Cayenta, about two and a half hours outside of Flagstaff. Lindsay and Greg died there, and two of the three kids had to be flown to Phoenix Children's Hospital, where they're still recovering. Yo, sad, sad situation. Welcome to the channel. Lock out me in with another story time for you. This uh, sad situation happened out of Flagstaff, Arizona. Um, and this story comes courtesy of Daily Mail. And the video comes courtesy of the mother trucker. Let's get into it. This is the reason why I hate two lane narrow roads, right? A lot of impatient cars, a lot of impatient truck drivers, they, they probably get behind one of those horse and carriage deals or get behind a person that's actually doing the speed limit. They just happen to look up and they be like, yeah, I, I got room. I got enough. I got, I think I could get around it. And as soon as they start to make they pass, here comes traffic. Traffic is coming so fast that would you be able to break to get back behind the car that you was trying to pass in time? No. You wouldn't. And this serious situation right here is proof of that. Three young children are orphaned after their parents was unalived in a head-on collision with a semi-driver. The young semi-driver, as you're going to see in the video, got over. Thought he could make it, but unfortunately, he wasn't able to make it. And before he knew it, he was in a head-on class crash. <laughs> Three young children, though, that was in the car, they survived. They survived. But they're going to have to go on living with that fear now of not having their parents in their lives everything that they knew came to an end that night now before i show you the video i wanted to let you guys know beforehand that it is going to be hard to watch and you're going to feel it you're going to feel the impact because i felt it some viewers may find the following video disturbing viewer discretion is advised <laughs> Avariye buldum. I felt that impact and it was I'm over here and I'm watching a video and it just ugh, like whoa wow the semi driver swung out of his lane in a no passing zone and smashed right into the car didn't have no time to get back no thoughts no nothing even the driver as you can see in the video he was shook up like he was in shock like didn't get out of the truck in time to check he's over there fumbling around 
messing around looking for something. What, what you looking for, G? Dr. Gray Cox and Lindsey Watson was heading off on a vacation with their two young daughters and baby son from their home in Flagstaff, Arizona. Again, miraculously, all three children survived with the daughters age five and seven airlifted to Children's Hospital in Phoenix. And the one-year-old suffering minor injuries. The tragedy has appalled friends who know the popular couple in their hometown. A GoFundMe has been set up and it already has raised more than 100 k for the children and for their family, for the parents. They say Greg worked as a physician's assistant at a medical center while his wife was an acupuncturist and founder of Threaded Together Charity in the town. The grandmother's worst nightmare. I I talk about driver safety all the time. And a lot of you guys out here that's that's making trucking pretty. Well, here's the reality, folks. This is not pretty. What what made this guy for whatever reason to come out of his lane to try to pass a slow moving vehicle that caused that horrific accident is bonkers to me. That's why me personally, I hate those kind of lanes. I, 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 I disapprove if I'm, if, if I'm doing the speed limit, the speed limit is 55 and you get behind me, you feel so impatient because I see a lot of you do it. I've been there. I have seen it. I've seen near misses all the times in the back roads. Y'all come around me and then a car just get back over in the nick of time. So you either going to mess me up by trying to hurry up and pass me so you can get out of the way of the on move, I mean, oncoming traffic. But yeah, you're going to mess me up. Somebody is bound to get hurt. And in this situation right here, People have lost their lives, and now the children have no parents to grow up with. Think about that next time when you're on a two-lane highway and you feel some kind of way. You, you're not getting there no faster. In the dark, too, it's dark. For whatever reason, you you decide. It's, I can't understand it, period. But it was dark, though. And you decide to get over in a non-passing lane. So, of course, not only that you lost your license, probably lost your life because you got to go to jail for it, right? Was it worth it? Is it worth it? Questions, comments, let's get the conversation started. I know a lot of y'all are going to feel some kind of way. So let's keep the comment session cool. So what do you guys think is going to happen? What do you guys want to happen? What do you guys uh, feel that should happen to this driver? Let us know in the comments below.